Yo, what is up everybody, it's M, and we are about to embark on an adventure. We're talking palm trees, we're talking beaches, we're talking history, we're talking about Puerto Rico. This isn't just another travel guide, alright? This is about experiencing Puerto Rico. We're diving deep into the heart of this Caribbean paradise, exploring hidden gems and iconic landmarks alike. I'm talking about the kind of places that stay with you long after you've left. So buckle up because we're about to jump into the top places you absolutely cannot miss. And I'm going to give you all the insider tips to make your trip unforgettable. This is Puerto Rico. Let's go. All right, first up, we got to kick things off in old San Juan. This place is like stepping into a time machine. We're talking cobblestone streets, colorful buildings that have seen centuries go by. And this vibe, man, this vibe is electric. You can feel the history as you walk these streets. Like, imagine the Spanish conquistadors walking these same streets, you know? Crazy, right? And the forts, man, El Moro and San Cristobal, they're like something out of a movie. You can almost hear the cannons firing. But it's not just about the past, though. Old San Juan is buzzing with life. You got street musicians pouring their hearts out. You got delicious smells coming from every corner in these little cafes, man. They're perfect for just people watching with a cafecito in hand. And don't even get me started on the doors. I know it sounds weird, but the doors in Old San Juan, they're works of art. Huge, brightly colored, each one unique. You could spend a whole day just checking out the doors. Trust me, you wander these streets, get lost in the maze of alleyways, you're gonna discover something amazing around every corner. This is old San Juan, and it's gonna steal your heart. All right, we're trading in the cobblestones for some hiking boots because we're heading into El Yunque National Forest. This place is like stepping into Jurassic Park, but with less, you know, dinosaurs trying to eat you. We're talking lush rainforests, waterfalls cascading down mountainsides, and this incredible biodiversity. You got parrots flying overhead, coquey frogs serenading you with their calls, and if you're lucky you might even spot a Puerto Rican boa. Don't worry, they're harmless. Mostly. There are trails for everyone here, from easy strolls to intense climbs. You can hike to waterfalls, swim in natural pools, and just breathe in that fresh rainforest air. It's like hitting the reset button on your soul. One trail you gotta check out is La Mina Trail. It takes you past waterfalls through lush vegetation, and the payoff is this amazing swimming hole at the end. Trust me, it's worth every step. Just remember to bring water, bug spray, and wear good shoes. You're gonna be exploring all day. El Yunque is a must-do in Puerto Rico. It's an experience you won't forget. Hold on tight because we're going on an adventure to Vieques. This island off the coast of mainland Puerto Rico is home to something truly magical, Mosquito Bay. Now before you freak out about the name, it's not about the mosquitoes, it's about what happens in the water at night. We're talking bioluminescence people. This bay is home to millions of tiny organisms called dinoflagellates, and when they're disturbed, they light up the water in this incredible blue glow. It's like something out of Avatar. The best way to experience it? kayaking at night. Imagine paddling through the darkness and your every move, leaving this trail of shimmering blue light behind you. It's like kayaking through the stars. Seriously, it's mind-blowing. But Vieques is more than just bioluminescence. You got pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, and this laid-back vibe that just makes you want to chill out and soak it all in. So yeah, add Vieques to your list. It's an experience that'll stay with you long after you've left. Chapter 4, Calibra Paradise Found at Flamenco Beach. Next stop, Calibra, home to what's consistently ranked as one of the most beautiful beaches in the world, Flamenco Beach. And let me tell you, it lives up to the hype. We're talking turquoise waters, powdery white sand, and this crescent-shaped bay that's just begging you to relax and soak up the sun. You can swim, you can snorkel, you can just chill out and work on your tan. It's paradise. But Flamenco Beach has a little something extra. You see those two old tanks on the beach, they're a reminder of the island's military past, and they add this strange, almost eerie beauty to the place. Don't just plant yourself on Flamenco though. Calibra has a bunch of other beaches to explore, each one more beautiful than the last. Rent a scooter, explore the island, and find your own little slice of paradise. Trust me, Calibra is a must-visit. It's the kind of place that dreams are made of. Chapter 5 Ponce, A Journey Through Culture Alright, let's switch gears and head to Ponce, the Pearl of the South. This city is all about culture, history, and some seriously stunning architecture. We're talking museums, art galleries, theaters, 
and these grand colonial era buildings that'll transport you back in time. You can spend days just wandering the streets, soaking up the atmosphere, and discovering hidden gems. One spot you gotta hit up is the Parque de Bomba, a fire station turned museum with this crazy black and white striped facade. It's iconic. And don't miss the Ponce Museum of Art, home to a world-class collection of European and Puerto Rican art. Ponce is a city that rewards exploration. So ditch the itinerary, get lost in the streets, and discover the magic of this cultural gem. Chapter 6. Rincon Catching Waves and Surf Paradise. All right, surfers, this one's for you. We're heading to Rincon, the surfing capital of the Caribbean. This laid-back town on the western coast is all about good vibes, big waves, and that surfer lifestyle. We're talking world-class surf breaks, dude. Domes, Tres Palmas, Marias. These waves attract surfers from all over the globe. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, Rincon has a wave for you. But even if you're not a surfer, Rincon's got something for you. You can chill on the beach, watch the surfers carve up the waves, and enjoy the laid-back atmosphere. And when the sun sets, head to one of the beachfront bars, grab a cold drink, and watch the sky light up in a blaze of colors. It's the perfect end to a perfect day in surfer's paradise. Chapter 7, Arecibo Observatory, Exploring the Cosmos. Get ready for a trip to outer space because we're heading to the Arecibo Observatory. This place is home to the world's largest single-dish radio telescope, and it's played a key role in some major scientific discoveries. We're talking searching for extraterrestrial life, mapping the surface of Venus, and discovering the first binary pulsar. This place is like stepping into a science fiction movie. You can take a tour of the facility, learn about the incredible research that's done here, and even see the massive telescope up close. It's truly awe-inspiring. Even if you're not a science nerd, the Arecibo Observatory is worth a visit. It's a reminder of the vastness of the universe and the incredible things humanity is capable of. Chapter 8, Kamui River Cave Park, an underground adventure. Get ready to go spelunking because we're heading underground to the Kamui River Cave Park. This place is home to one of the largest cave systems in the world, and it's an adventure you won't forget. We're talking massive caverns, stalactites hanging from the ceiling like teeth, and an underground river carving its way through the darkness. It's like something out of Indiana Jones. You can take a guided tour through the caves, learn about the geology and history of the area, and even see the bats that call this place home. Just watch out for the guano. The Kamui River Cave Park is a must-visit for anyone who loves adventure and exploring the hidden wonders of our planet. titled Cabo Rojo, where the salt flats blush. All right, we're heading to the southwest coast of Puerto Rico to a place called Cabo Rojo. Now this place is known for its beaches, which are amazing, don't get me wrong, but we're here for something even more unique. We're talking about the Cabo Rojo salt flats. Imagine this, vast stretches of shallow pools where the water evaporates and leaves behind these mountains of salt. But here's the kicker. The salt flats have this incredible pink hue to them. It's like something out of a Dr. Seuss book. You can walk along the edge of the flats, take in the views, and snap some seriously Instagrammable photos. Just be careful not to step on the salt flats themselves. They're delicate, and we gotta preserve this natural wonder. And while you're in Cabo Rojo, make sure to check out the Los Marillos Lighthouse. It's perched on top of a cliff overlooking the Caribbean Sea, and the views are breathtaking. Title La Parguera Diving into a Coral Wonderland. All right, for our final stop, we're diving into a world of color and marine life in La Parguera. This small fishing village on the southwest coast is known for its bioluminescent bay, but we're here for something even more spectacular. We're talking about the coral reefs. La Parguera is home to some of the most vibrant and diverse coral reefs in Puerto Rico, and it's a snorkeler's paradise. Grab your mask and fins and get ready to be amazed by a kaleidoscope of colors. We're talking parrotfish, angelfish, sea turtles, maybe even a glimpse of a stingray if you're lucky. It's like swimming in an aquarium, but better. And when you're done exploring the underwater world, head back to shore and enjoy some fresh seafood at one of the local restaurants. It's the perfect way to end your Puerto Rican adventure. Outro title until next time, Puerto Rico. So there you have it, guys, our whirlwind tour of Puerto Rico. From the cobblestone streets of old San Juan to the bioluminescent bays and beyond, this island has it all. I hope this video has inspired you to book your own adventure to this Caribbean paradise. Trust me, it's an experience you won't forget. 
Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more travel adventures, and let me know in the comments which spot you're most stoked to visit. Until next time, peace out.